Good morning, world. Bruce Schwartz here, ufologist, just on the outskirts of Montreal. I'm scaring off the researchers, everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Bruce Schwartz, and everyone is horrified of me. They're afraid because I'm showing spacecraft, you know, what the Pentagon and the bullshit liars are not showing. That's right. They're breaking them up, though. They're dismantling all these three-letter associations to get to the core of the lie to get to the rotting apple spacecraft black holes opening up i got them all here the videos but on the moon exploding spacecraft i'm going to prove to you today this video won't get 300 views what do you think of that what if bruce is right again <laughs> as i always do don't worry fear not my friends hundreds thousands of videos coming ufos rising up every night here i have a big ass telescope thanks to my community and i we raised money to get a large telescope and to get a good quality camera at the back to show people exactly what is up there on the moon here's a ufo fleet flying by but now this one here i this one's going to be in, in the news because i'm going to, to um try until i die to bring this truth out. It's what all of you guys and gals are looking for. Everyone and all the biggie, biggie, we'll call them biggie channels, that are looking for truth and UFOs. You guys like theories more. Yeah, Linda Malton Howe, Jeremy Corbell. I got nothing against them, but promising aliens and videos and we get fuck all. Here, you get videos and proof, raw proof every day. One of the only channels and the only channel showing exploding UFOs. So let's look at this footage a little bit. Hang on here. Let's bring that back around. How often do you think a guy can show a war on the moon without causing a real big shit stir up? Watch the UFO propulsion systems. That one on the left there that's flaring up. There it is taking off. Who are they? Thousands of them landing on the moon. NASA set back the Artemis program. Well, NASA, somebody made it to the moon before you. Basically, that's what happened, right? Were they warded off or did they even get a chance to get into the lunar atmosphere or were they just 400 kilometers over Earth with a telescope? Come on, guys. Imagine my 14-inch telescope on a Boeing plane. Uh that's right. They didn't need to get close to the moon to get nice shots. They don't have nice shots. They're all fake images. Every one of you channels sharing out NASA images, don't even mention it. Look at the base here. Look at the base here, you say. <laughs> all the images show no bases. NASA wouldn't have let anything in there. Come on, guys. But in my research, you could see the real structure, so you should be checking out those videos. Have you ever seen a spacecraft on fire? Propulsion systems, we can see it all here. Smokes, hazes, clouds on the moon, which should not exist. But why? Why should they not exist? But because everybody depended on NASA and all the spokespersons for the U.S. defense who are just shooting us up bullshit. But how did he find this out? How did he get so close? How was he able to adjust the image to be able to see the movement? Why are things so clear? It's taking the time to do so. The UFOs, they're under the lights on the surface. It's a smoke and mirror shit show. That's all it is. Cheap too, because don't know if you know it, water vapor doesn't cost a bloody cent. That's how stupid it is. Civilization. Alien on the moon right in front of you, UFO fleet. Hey everyone, if you're new to this channel, this is the research I do. Look at this one. I get chills sitting down at night. See the fire there? You see what I'm just showing you going forward and back? What's happening in interaction with the surface from these UFOs propelling themselves? I don't get mad because the research isn't getting out. It's typical that it's not supposed to get out to people. But I promise you I'll work all my life to get this out. Even if it risks getting me killed 
or if I have problems from the Pentagon or the CIA, I'm already in contact with CIA agents and retired CIA agents and even Royal Mounted Police retired um, dipshit that's trying to take the channel down to trying to get in with a hacker group. But a lot of people, I would say most, if not all, don't believe that. Why would somebody hack Bruce? Well, it's because I'm showing this for sure. These massive UFO lights that are propelling from the surface. But I want to go back to the first one I just showed there. Well, actually, hang on. What are we looking at? It's a close up on the surface of the moon where there's lots of lights on the surface, smokes and hazes. And when you bring down that light, you can combat the refraction quite easily. And you can see a lot of things moving around. And when you bring the exposure down, it gives shadows to things. So you tend to see things sometimes a bit more by bringing down some of the light. And of course, like you all told me, take the time to experiment. <laughs> Experimenting with your editor doesn't mean showing a blue, pink, purple, green, yellow, turquoise moon. The moon is not green, purple, turquoise. The moon is as colorful as Earth has vegetation, has browns, clouds, maybe even raining up there on the moon. Let's go back to the first one I'm just lingering on here. Now here's an exciting one. Look on the bottom. See that massive fire at the back of the black UFO, like a cube or something? We don't know what the shapes of them are. We can't see them, right? But we can see the flames coming out of their friggin' asses. You see the size of that? That object, the black object, is a mile wide. Two or three miles wide, that fire, and it's illuminating the surface. Let's see in the conversion. Negative image. Do you see that beautiful shape there in the center? That's the shape of a real UFO. The government knows it. Ufologists, the real ones, know it. Why does it have that particular eyeball shape? There's a reason for it, right? As they whiz around the surface of the moon, take off quickly. You don't think I love waking up at 4 or 5 in the morning, sitting down and saying, holy shit, I caught that. I was able to show the world that there are UFOs up on the moon, structures, people there. And the worst of it, it's even more exciting, the fact that everyone in the world was talking about that being a possibility. But nobody was showing a lot of that proof. What did they say the last UFO reports? What did they say recently, just Ross Coltart uh, interviewing people? The news winds up as data, these UFO sightings. And unless we find several of the same captures, they don't talk about it. So when I started showing several of the same captures, they started blocking me. They must be democratic. I mean, that's how they react, right, the Democrats? <laughs> The guy's showing UFOs taking off. He's explaining it to the bloody public how we are hiding up there. Damn it. Well, that's what they're doing. And when they take off, like you just saw there, they become invisible. So how many invisible UFOs or white UFOs are parked with their asses on the ground in Antarctica? And that's not counting all the tunnels and shit we have inside of Earth, obviously. When the UFO takes off, I see them and I film them. Okay, here's one that's so close that I, I never show because I'm too close. Not too close for me, but too close for a lot of you. Massive fire connected to the surface, high up off the surface, disappears. Appears and disappears as we watch these UFOs leave traces of fire in the atmosphere of the moon and on the surface when they take off. Massive fire. What's it? Is it a missile taking off? Is there some type of war going on up there? Look at the size of it. I'm in a matrix alone here. The moon is a figment of my imagination. I created it and I film a whole bunch of UFOs on it and an alien civilization. And I have this matrix world of friends and fake people online who I'm trying to interact with when in reality, somehow it's like the government has me in some type of fucking bubble where I can't bring information out to other people. But still, I have a hard time believing that. Can't get closer than that. If I got any closer than this on the surface, I'd be inside that UFO. Actually. See the fire at the back? That'll send some hairs on your arm. You humans are really mean to us aliens.
Paul Sable, Pat Yassar, Darla Lama, Ruth Kelly, everyone who contributed, gifting out the memberships, and every way you have, Kristen Kruger, Michelle Preston. Thank you so much for the generous contributions, everyone. Thank you, Eric Dubé. Merci pour tout. Ah, Aliens on the Moon, when are they going to tell the world? Come on, Pentagon. Aliens on the Moon. Aliens on the Moon. And they mind it. Thank you very much for the support to this channel. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Maybe up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Maybe that's the body on the moon. Yes, they're all up there. Doesn't matter because disclosure's coming soon.